Hello and welcome to Tech Guinness. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. This video is all about Key Clock 19 and we have Key Clock 19.1 as well. And when I am recording this video, in this video we will see how to install Key Clock 19 and we will get to know the features and what are the features that are removed from Key Clock 19 and what are the features now which are coming with Key Clock 19. So let's get started. Okay, so here you can see this is the downloads page for Keyclock. You can go to keyclock.org slash downloads. And here you can directly download the zip file. And other mechanism which with you can test Keyclock 19 or you can run Keyclock 19 is on container image. So for Docker, Podman, Kubernetes and OpenShift. In their QA repository they have and they, we have operators as well. So here you can see I have downloaded keyclock 19.0.1 Okay, I have unzipped You can see this structure bin, con for configuration, data, lib, providers, themes Okay So in the bin folder there is kc.bat batch file and there is kc.sh as well so that in your Linux environment you can use this uh, script to run So let's run this I'm opening command prompt so as usual the command will remain the same if you want to know more you can view my other videos and I am starting right now in the dev profile development profile okay so now the server is ready so because I have already created a user if, if uh, it is a fresh installation when you visit localhost 8080 you will see uh, like you can create a new administrative user where it will give you the text boxes to fill the username and password and validate password okay so these three fields you will get now let's go directly to console now here you can see the main noticeable thing okay okay now here you can see the main noticeable thing that we are having the new admin console so you can refer my last video which was about the new security admin console okay so now the layout is all totally changed so in version 18 and before that as well that was a preview feature okay so because that preview feature you need to enable to get on to the new admin console but as I mentioned in my earlier video as well that from key clock 19 onwards they are making the new admin console as the default console so that is one big change in key clock 19 okay so again again I can do a quick walkthrough okay so uh, there are two different features right one comes under manage where you can manage all the clients, client scope, realm roles, users, groups, sessions, events, etc. Okay. And other one are the configurations. So you can configure a realm. Okay. So for example, realm it is right. So you can config provide the configurations. For example, if I'm going to login, you can see login screen customization. Okay. You want user registration? Yes, no. Forgot password you want to enable you can do that so that comes under configuration okay for example identity provider you want to configure you can do this way okay so yeah so now it's a kind of a the look and feel is totally changed with key clock other thing right if you want to disable this new security admin console and you want to use the old one there is a feature and you can uh, like disable this feature okay so i will i will give the command in the description of the video so now like what are the features that are added and which are removed okay so quickly here one thing you can see the client adapters wildfly adapter is deprecated jbo cap deprecated node.js deprecated jetty tomcat so these client adapters are already deprecated in uh, version 19 also spring boot one adapter is also deprecated so we can go to 
now if you want to see the full features you can go to keyclock.org slash blog and here you can see keyclock 19 released okay so now you can see release notes open id connect and saml adapter end of life fuse 6 and 7 will no longer be providing adapters for them again for jbos as7 and eap6 so this is not maintained for a long time so that's why they are recommending migrating to wildfly and leveraging the native idc support in wildfly okay so spring boot one has reached end of life in 2019 so as per them if you are still using spring boot one please recommend it option is to spring boot two okay so new admin console graduation i already mentioned that uh, with key clock 19 the new admin console will be the default admin console and the old console is now deprecated and from 21 onwards they will remove the uh, old console altogether now the big thing is the changes in key clock storage okay so you need to go through this to understand what is the change in the key clock storage so they have they have changed the implementation altogether okay so that means if you are using the previous apis right user storage spis so now that will be changed okay so if you have that implementation already in place you need to think about the upgradation of that then oidc logout changes are there and they have added a one preview feature which is called update email workflow okay so what exactly this update email workflow is if you want to uh, change your email right to a different email address so the mail will be triggered to the new email address and from that you need to verify okay so this is one preview feature they have added so again deprecated features like pod disruption budget in the legacy key clock adapter then again another good thing added from key clock 19 onwards is the support for centralized logging okay so key clock will support sending logs to elk stack elk efk or gray log okay this is one good feature now the next thing is changes to server configuration and startup so if you have seen my previous videos and if you are following key clock as well the key clock uh, quarkus distribution if you are updating any of the configuration right for example if you are adding a jar file into the providers and <coughs> and you want to add your implementation of spi then you need to run the build okay but here what what is happening that by default it will build okay then these are the potential breaking changes to the health endpoints so if you are using any of the health point points you can refer this yeah so there are some other uh, documentation mentioned in the release notes so please go through it and plan your upgrade accordingly okay so this is it for this video because i can see this is the on demand thing which i get from the comments that can you make a video on key clock 19 because 19 is now released so that's why i thought of making this video so to summarize um, again it is a quarkus based distribution only key clock 19 and uh, the installation or you can say the running or deploying the key clock steps are altogether same only whether you are starting in a development profile or in a production mode that will remain the same but internally uh, few changes right a security admin console now you get a new security admin console by default old console will be uh, deprecated in the 21 uh, version of key clock okay there is a change in the storage api that we need to understand okay i will bring a video on that as well okay so because i am also going through what are the changes that has done in key clock 19 and how it will impact the uh, storage spis okay so if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and also please share this video with your colleagues or teammates who are working on key clock or they are new to key clock and they want to understand how key clock works and from the basic to expertise. Thanks a lot.